Good morning. Thank you for joining us in this virtual platform. My name is Maureen Taves. I'm the Associate Vice President Teaching, Learning and Research at Red Deer Polytechnic. And it is my pleasure to be your Master of Ceremonies today. I would first like to recognize that the Red Deer Polytechnic campus is situated on Treaty 7 land, the traditional territory of the Blackfoot, Sutina and Stony Nakoda peoples and that the central Alberta region we serve falls under Treaty 6, traditional Métis, Cree and Soto territory. We honour the first peoples who have lived here since time immemorial and we honour their innovation, hard work and creativity that inspire the diverse projects and collaboration that we enjoy in Red Deer Polytechnic Centre for Innovation in Manufacturing. And we give thanks for the land where Red Deer Polytechnic sits. This is where we will strive to honour and transform our relationships with one another. I am pleased to welcome our speakers who are joining us virtually. The Honourable Daniel Van Dahl, Minister Responsible for Prairies Economic Development Canada, and Ken Doyle, Executive Director of Tech Access Canada. I would also like to introduce my colleagues and our special guests who are here with me in person. Uh, first of all, Jim Brinkhurst, in Interim President of Red Deer Polytechnic. Guy Pelche, Chair of Red Deer Polytechnic's Board of Governors. Savannah Snow, our Student Association President. And Dr. Tanya Wolf, Manager of the Centre for Innovation in Manufacturing. Thank you all for joining us. I'm proud to be here and to celebrate an important milestone as the Centre for Innovation in Manufacturing at Red Deer Polytechnic becomes a designated technology access centre. Now it is my pleasure to ask Ken Doyle of Tech Access Canada to speak to us about the role of technology access centres in Canada. Hello everyone. Thank you very much for the opportunity to join you today from Ottawa. My name is Ken Doyle and I'm the Executive Director of Tech Access Canada, the National Network of Canada's Technology Access Centres. It's a banner day for Red Deer and therefore a banner day for Canada as we celebrate the grand opening of the Centre for Innovation and Manufacturing Technology Access Centre, a great way to start 2022. Simtac succeeded in winning the most rigorous competition in Canadian College Applied Research and was awarded their national designation as a Technology Access Centre. We're honoured to welcome them into the Tech Access Canada family. As some of you may know, Canada's 60 technology access centres are specialised applied research and development centres affiliated exclusively with publicly funded colleges, polytechnics and SAGEPs. Each TAC serves a specific geographic area, focusing on strengthening the industrial sector of significance to that region. These demand-driven centres from BC to PEI help Canadian businesses especially small and medium-sized enterprises, get their products, processes, and services market ready by offering objective advice and specialized technical services, providing training related to new types of equipment and processes, and conducting applied research and development projects focused on company problems. There are 156 public colleges in Canada, and only 44 of them have a technology access center, an elite group to be sure. What the team at Red Deer Polytechnic have built is really top tier and a true leader within Canada. I've been there and I've seen it for myself, so I'll stand by that statement any day. Honestly, this national designation is a certification of excellence for SIMTAC, rewarding the capacity and expertise that have been built over the years through countless collaborations with innovative small Canadian companies. It also shows there's still much demand from small companies in central Alberta without in-house R&D capacity needing the unique support services that SIMTAC provides to become more innovative and productive. Recently, Tanya and I have presented overviews of the tax to national audiences through a series of webinars and watching their reactions when they finally get it must have been like watching the reactions of the first cavemen when they discovered fire. Tanya provides a four or five minute overview of SIMTAC, who they are, what they do, how they've helped clients, and the audience's eyes get big. They can't believe they have access to a trusted, objective, innovation intermediary set up as a public good with cutting edge equipment, facilities, and the smart people who know how to use them, working day in and day out to help solve the specific innovation challenges of small companies. Really one of Canada's best kept secrets. Now getting into Tech Access Canada's network is difficult, but so is staying in. 
there's a need to keep that TAC designation, which is reevaluated every five years. So SimTAC has the unenviable task of remaining in a constant state of evolution, needing to be proficient with what's coming next all the time. Even more of a challenge in the Alberta advanced manufacturing space with so many technologies from different industrial sectors in a constant state of evolution. The other reality is there's no shortage of demand. Look at the industrial makeup of Canada. 1 million small companies, average size, eight employees. 75% of those companies have four employees or less. As a network, we only touch 5,000 companies per year, which shows there's still a tremendous amount of work to do. For those companies in central Alberta that have challenges that align with SimTax areas of innovation expertise, it's great. But the real benefit is that SimTac also acts as a front door to the network of all 60 of Canada's technology access centers and the breadth and depth of their expertise and capacity. If all of a sudden the marine and shipbuilding industry in central Alberta picks up, SimTac can connect companies in that supply chain to Innovation Maritime in Rimouski or SeaTac in Dartmouth, Nova Scotia for the specialized innovation assistance they may need. Likewise, those 1 million small companies spread across our great land now have access to the team and solutions from SimTac. If those initial collaborations lead companies to pack up and move to beautiful Red Deer to be closer to SimTac and the Central Alberta Innovation Ecosystem, I'm all for it. Like our members in Quebec say, lâche pas. So again, my sincere congratulations to Tanya, Angela, and the entire Red Deer Polytechnic team for the grand opening of the Center for Innovation and Manufacturing Technology Access Center. I recently attended a similar celebration for one of our members in Quebec who celebrated their 25th anniversary. I very much look forward to doing the same thing for SimTac in 2047. Thank you, merci. Thank you, Ken. We appreciate your commitment to innovation across Canada. And we're thrilled that the Centre for Innovation in Manufacturing has joined the ranks of technology access centres and is now known as the SimTac. We look forward to many more years of being an innovative leader across Alberta and beyond. And I would now like to invite everyone who is here with me in person to join me so that we may officially cut the ribbon to open the SimTac. Thank you everyone. This is an exciting day for the Centre for Innovation and Manufacturing as we celebrate the Natural Sciences and Engineering Research Council grant which creates us as a technology access centre. Today we have truly become the SimTac. I also want to recognize Prairie's Economic Development Canada for their funding support which has strengthened the breadth and depth of innovation services that the SimTac is able to offer the people of Central Alberta. In the SimTech, we say we turn leading edge ideas into reality by collaborating with industry on innovative manufacturing solutions. What does that mean? Our staff work directly with industry clients on applied research projects from design and engineering to 3D CAD modeling, proof of concept and prototype validation. We focus on product and process development and improvement through innovative technical services. Our facility, located in the four centres at Red Deer Polytechnic, houses $5.9 million of prototype and advanced manufacturing equipment in 15,000 square feet of industrially accessible space. This equipment includes everything from CNC machines and 3D printers, scanners, robotics and automated manufacturing trainers. Let me take you on a tour of the SimTac and we'll see the impact of these grants in action. The SimTac is an applied research facility embedded within Red Deer Polytechnic that focuses on providing technology and business solutions to our industry clients, specializing in the area of manufacturing. The Centre of Innovation was established in 2009 and really focused on supporting early stage entrepreneurs with their prototype development. Over the years, we've engaged over 200 companies uh, with projects ranging in size from 
a 3D print all the way to a low run manufacturing problem. And as we continue to grow, we'll be looking at more complicated problems and how we can deliver truly innovative solutions to Alberta manufacturers. Our metal fabrication facilities include CNC, five axis water jet, metal forming and joining processes. Our latest acquisition in this space is a five axis mill turn machine. The Mazak Integrix I200 enables machining of components up to 63 inches face to face and up to 20 inches in diameter. The spider crane allows our material handling within the space. It's a portable and flexible lifting solution to be able to move around some of the larger components that we process here at SimTac. The laser engraver is able to cut both wood and plastic products. The laser engraver is able to mark and cut plastics up to one inch thick. The SimTac was fortunate to have Alberta's first commercial 3D printer the Stratasys 400MC. This printer has a bed size of 14 by 16 by 16 inches, allowing for larger components to be manufactured. The X1 Innovent Plus is the latest addition to our capabilities here at the SimTac. It is a binder jet 3D printer with powder as the stock material. That powder can be either a metal or ceramic in the size range of 20 to 100 microns. So in that process, a layer of powder is added and then the binder jet printer head will go over the surface and deposit polymer where needed. As part of our reverse engineering capabilities, we're able to scan a component using our handy scan to be able to get a cloud surface of that component. Following that, we'll use a number of software programs to be able to turn that into a computer-aided drawing so that we can manipulate and change design as necessary. To support our clients, we'll look for opportunities to apply robotics and automation to their process. This can be done using the ABB trainers or the Festo manufacturing unit. As part of our validation stage, we're able to do material testing using our tensile testing facilities. We have a number of jigs and fixtures that we can design and apply to be able to test the materials according to our client specifications. We're also able to provide metrology services using our CMM machine, which has accuracy around 1.7 microns, the optical comparator, and as well as our 3D scanning capabilities. The NSERC Technology Access Centre grant has really enabled us to be able to deliver higher value added solutions to our clients in the areas of engineering and manufacturing excellence. Grants from other funders such as Prairies Economic Development Canada, Alberta Innovates and MyTax allow us to acquire new equipment so companies can de-risk their technologies. It also lets us hire highly qualified people to support our industry clients and Red Deer Polytechnic students who are in work integrated learning situations. What we really explore a lot here is that high mix, low volume manufacturing. So how do we make small runs the most cost effective possible? And this is really important for companies as they're testing their new products out, being able to deliver solutions to them that meet their budgetary needs. Thank you, Tanya. We truly appreciate your passion for business innovation, as well as your leadership and expertise in this sector which has made a sizable contribution to the applied research and technical knowledge of our Polytechnic Institution. On behalf of the Red Deer Polytechnic Board of Governors and everyone at our institution, I would like to acknowledge and share our appreciation with the Natural Sciences and Engineering Research Council of Canada for the opportunities that this grant funding has created for our post-secondary institution. Since 2009, the Centre for Innovation and Manufacturing has been a unique and affordable resource at our institution. We've been pleased to collaborate with hundreds of small and medium-sized businesses and entrepreneurs in our region. Located on Red Deer Polytechnic's main campus, the SimTac has always been one of the key facilities of our four centres. On its surface, 
This is a structure filled with advanced manufacturing equipment. Scratch beneath that surface and you will find a dedicated staff of experts in engineering and design. Dig even deeper and you'll discover the amazing stories of our clients and their projects. When we talk about the SimTac, what we are really discussing is our people. The people who create our campus community are our most valuable asset at Red Deer Polytechnic. In this centre, we bring together people who have come to Red Deer Polytechnic for help in bringing their ideas to life. We connect business leaders and entrepreneurs with the people who teach and learn in the SimTac. Our faculty, staff and students, together these people collaborate and innovate to create solutions to a myriad of real-world problems. Manufacturers need to invest in research and development and innovation more than any other sector, and the SimTac is uniquely positioned to help them. This NSER grant and the designation as a Technology Access Centre will increase both the number of clients that we can serve and the ways in which that we can serve them. With this new connection to Tech Access Canada, projects in the SimTac will undoubtedly grow in complexity, variety and volume. At the same time, the accompanying grant will contribute to developing our facilities and our equipment, as well as the diverse ways that staff, students and faculty can support innovators to bring their big ideas to life. All of these additions mean increased applied research capacity at Red Deer Polytechnic, a greater variety of work integrated learning opportunities for our students, and increased industrial services, which further and further access to a national network for collaboration for Central Alberta businesses. We know that Red Deer Polytechnic is a critical organization in supporting the health and vibrancy of our provincial economy. And we're proud of the role that SimTac has played and will continue to grow in supporting this work in Alberta. Red Deer Polytechnic is truly honored to be one of the 60 technology access centers that NSERC has designated across Canada, an exclusive membership to be sure. Now to speak on behalf of the Government of Canada, I'd like to virtually welcome the Honourable Daniel Van Dahl, Minister Responsible for Prairies Economic Development Canada. Hello, bonjour. It's a pleasure to be joining you virtually today. I'd like to acknowledge that I'm, from, I'm in my office in Ottawa, Ontario, unceded Algonquin and Anishinaabe territory. On behalf of the Government of Canada, I want to congratulate Red Deer Polytechnic on today's ribbon cutting for the Centre of Innovation in Manufacturing. For more than half a century, Red Deer Polytechnic has adopted and evolved to become the dynamic institution that it is today. It plays an important role in serving educational and training needs in central Alberta. Today, we celebrate yet another milestone in this Polytechnic's evolution and the contributions that it makes to this vibrant community. With the Centre of Innovation and Manufacturing, Red Deer Polytech is, creating, is reducing barriers and providing the opportunity for small and medium-sized companies to use new technologies and equipment in their manufacturing processes. As a technology access center, this facility will play, play a key role uh, to help Alberta's companies scale up, become more productive, and remain competitive in the global market. By providing a suite of tools and mentoring services, it will enable companies to design and test new products, turning ideas into reality. For students and all those aspiring to high quality jobs in advanced manufacturing, today's milestone means more opportunities to gain hands-on experience and to work on real life applications directly with industry. For businesses, it means access to skilled workers to help drive growth and innovation. Taken together, it means supporting thousands of Albertans and their families who depend on a thriving manufacturing industry for a high quality of life. Through our collaboration with institutions such as the Red Deer Polytech, our government is working to ensure Canadian businesses can seize opportunities in the rapidly evolving global economy. I applaud the efforts of Red Deer Polytechnic and all the partners who have made today's milestone a reality. Merci beaucoup, thank you. Thank you, Minister Vandel. At Red Deer Polytechnic, we consistently aim to meet and exceed the needs of our students, as well as our business partners while contributing to our surrounding communities. 
We have an important role to play to ensure that our industry partners have access to world-class equipment and expertise right here in central Alberta. With the support of Prairie's Economic Development Canada, there has been ex exponential growth in the work that the SimTech can do with our regional entrepreneurs, innovators in manu advanced manufacturing. The new equipment we purchase helps them bring their ideas to life with new products to commercialize. It allows Red Deer Polytechnic to build on our strengths and grow and evolve to have an even greater impact on our learners and within our region. Our team of experts have collaborated to create meaningful, applied learning experiences for many of our students since the center first opened. Our faculty and staff have also achieved great successes with valued partners during the past decade or so within the Center for Innovation in Manufacturing. I'm excited to see what our future delivers now, that we are also a technology access center and that we've realized our future as a polytechnic institution. Thank you again, Minister Vandell, for providing these opportunities that assist our learners, our business community, and our region. We look forward to further collaborations with Prairie's Economic Development Canada, which will enable us to support the entrepreneurs of Central Alberta as they build a strong future of industry innovation in our province. And now, I'd like to introduce Savannah Snow, President of the Red Deer Polytechnic Student Association. Thanks for the opportunity to join you and share my thoughts on behalf of all students. First, I'd like to thank everyone who has played a role in making this Technology Access Centre possible. Students of Central Alberta want to learn and live close to their support systems. They want to create their livelihoods here and grow their families here. Red Deer Polytechnic students want experiential learning opportunities within the classrooms and out in the communities they will one day serve. They come to our institution to further their futures, both as people and as contributors to society. Hands-on learning is a hallmark of a Red Deer Polytechnic education. Our students are fortunate to be able to work as applied research technicians, to contribute to industry projects, and to use the facility and equipment to work on capstone projects within their programs of study. Through these opportunities, student learn, students learn important skills and gain valuable experience, as well as develop relationships within the industries they will go to work in. Providing a hands-on, industry-aligned education has long been a priority for Canada's modern polytechnics, and it's exciting to know that Red Deer Polytechnic is a leader in this initiative. Having students involved in industrial applied research projects makes sense for the SIMTAC and for Red Deer Polytechnic students now and well into the future. Thank you, Savannah. I agree with your sentiments. Seeing daily how the SimTAC provides many benefits to our students, our institution, and to Central Alberta. While they weren't able to join us, we are pleased to share statements on screen now from two of our local members of Parliament, Mr. Earl Dreeshen, MP for Red Deer Mountain View, and Mr. Blaine Calkins, MP for Red Deer Lacombe. We greatly value the support we receive from our local MPs. And we thank you for sharing your sentiments with us now as we celebrate this milestone for our Polytechnic. I would like to express my appreciation to all levels of government, including representatives within our municipal and provincial governments who have offered ongoing and unwavering support as this centre has grown into its future status now as Red Deer Polytechnic's first technology access centre. I think the length of this centre's name matches the vast positive impact it has for our Polytechnic to achieve many successes in support of our learners, industry and communities. Our institution's ability to increase the breadth of service offerings and to provide more innovative manufacturing solutions will help Central Alberta businesses to retain skilled, educated and agile workers that graduate from Red Deer Polytechnic. This will contribute to the socio-economic prosperity of our region for decades to come. The impact of this will undoubtedly be felt across this region. Thank you for joining us, everyone. We look forward to creating a bright and innovative future within Red Deer Polytechnic SimTAC with you. Thank you.